Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the custom filter node. Now, this is one of them confusing nodes that you would probably never really just pull out and use. And what the custom filter node does is it applies custom convolution filters to your images. And it's kind of confusing when you look but I will bring up an image so you can kind of see what I, what I mean by convolution filter, just in case. What a convolution filter does is it takes the brightness of your original source image, the pixels, it adds that filter data that you change and reapplies it to your, your image. So in here, all these weird numbers you come up with actually change the pixel data and its surrounding pixel data to come up with new looks. <laughs> so it's kind of confusing and it's not just straightforward, but it's a pretty cool node. And in the past, let me get rid of that. The custom filter used to have the ability to, if you come up here actually with any node and you right click on this node name, you can go down to settings and you can load filters or load any settings or default saves from that filter. But this no longer has it there. It used to have a whole bunch so you could just load the filter and pick one and it would automatically populate your numbers, but it seems to be empty in the uh, newer versions of uh, DaVinci. Unless I just don't know where they're at anymore. So if you happen to know, let me know, but I'm missing my filters. But just in case you don't know, this is also how you would save. So say you uh, made this node and you don't want to make it again. You can go to settings, save as, and you can save your node. So next time you go, you can just load it. Anyway, the custom filter. So basically up here, you have your choice to choose what channels you're working on, your RGB and A. You have the matrix size, whether it's the three by three, five by five, or seven by seven. And the only difference is, other than the numbers, it's gonna give you more detailed results. But we're gonna leave this on three by three. This update lock means you can go in and make all your changes and then switch this off and then your changes will take effect instead of as we're changed numbers. So what this node basically does is, right now all of our pixels are affecting each other because we've just got everything set by on one. But if I go through here and make, say, all these zeros, this is bringing it back to our original image. So we've just got one, and it's everything around it is being affected zero times. So this is our original image. And the numbers in here, you can use whole numbers. You can't use uh, decimal points. But you can go positive and negative and use zero to affect your image. So if we wanted to just soften our image, we can affect them all, changing all of them to one. And you can see it soften our image up. And down here we have normalize and floor level. And the normalize controls the amount of the filter normalization that's applied to the result. And zero gives you a uh, a normalized image, positive values will be brighter and negative values will be darker. So if we raise it, it's brighter, negative, darker. Our floor level adds or subtracts a minimum or floor level to the result of the filtered image. So zero doesn't do anything, positive adds to it and negative subtracts from it. So with this filter, you can do random things. So say we wanted to create an embossed look image. We could go in here and switch this to say negative five. Let's make our surrounding pixels zero. And we'll change this to five. And we've got an embossed image and then you can change your floor levels and your normalize.
So now we have an embossed image. And this is the kind of stuff that the custom filter does. And if we want to change this from an emboss to say like a relief, we can just change this to negative one and one, and then change our primary pixel to zero. And then we can use our floor level and our normalize to bring up our relief image. So now we've got like a relief style image going. So like I said, we can use this to make all kinds of various stuff. So let's just make something real quick and I'm going to change this to three, negative three. So we could take this image and we can add a bitmap. Select our luminance. And now we've got our posterized edges. So let's make something with this. Let's bring in the background. Let's merge. Bring in some new footage. Merge. Now we've got that. And we can add a glow. And on this glow, all we're gonna do is just try to get the, some sharp info. Bring in another glow. And on this one, we're gonna kind of up our size a little bit. And that is the custom filter node. So play around with it, see what you can make, and uh, I'll see you in the next node breakdown.